Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to have to start thinking about getting our base upgraded to concrete because they just came out. Well, I don't know if they just came out with, but I just uh, updated to the update that uh, now has severity and forecasts for storms. And along with that, if you're not familiar with that update, um, stone foundations can now take damage during storms. Uh, so that means if we want to have a base that we don't want to get damaged during a storm, we're going to have to upgrade it to concrete. Which really sucks because I really liked the stone, uh, the look of the stone foundation, or not the stone foundation, I'm sorry, the stone uh, building parts. But the game is now forcing us to go with concrete if we want to have a base that can't get damaged during a storm. Uh, don't like that, not a fan, but it is what it is. Uh, so that means we need to get started with some concrete. Um, I, I want to let you guys know too that this is my first time back in the game for about a period of a week and a half to two weeks. I've been um, out of town on a business trip, a, week, a little over a week long business trip. And I uh, even before I left, I was, um, I was already quite a ways ahead of you guys. And so this is actually my first time back in the game for for a little bit so i'm a little feeling a little rusty uh, but we will jump back in and figure stuff out so um and i think uh, you know again our first priority is going to have to be to get our our base upgraded to a higher uh tier and i think if i understood the the patch notes correctly um it is stone that's it is the one that we want to upgrade to because it will not take damage from from storms even uh, even above aluminum which is fine with me because aluminum probably doesn't look as good as concrete anyways uh, I don't know I've never I don't even know if I've ever built an aluminum base in this game uh, but I have done some concrete stuff and it's okay you know looking but I, I always felt the stone was the best looking stuff uh, so all right so that's Icarus two-day forecast so it's Trying to figure out how that works exactly. I did read the patch notes, but I didn't like read them word for word. So I guess it's saying halfway through that forecast, we're gonna have a storm that is bad enough to damage stone, I think. Which means that I guess the storm that we currently have is not going to be bad enough to damage stone. And I don't... It doesn't appear like anything is, is getting damaged on our base. Uh, we are right on the verge, by the way, of uh, leveling uh, to the next level so we can get some more blue blueprint uh, blue print blue points. And so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So it looks like everything is holding up okay in this particular storm. I don't think we need to worry about it. I guess, my guess is that when the orange two-day forecast gets all the way to the left and then we get a storm, that's the storm that's going to be the nasty one. I think that's how that works because that is very, very slowly moving, uh, you know, to the left. So I think that's how that's going to work. So we have a little bit of time to get everything upgraded to concrete. So I have quite a bit of silica in here. So we're not in too bad a shape on that, but what I don't have a lot of is stone. And uh, so we're going to need silica stone and also uh, tree sap in order to make concrete. And then, of course, we'll need the concrete to make the concrete building material. And I have to learn all of that, too. So when we do level, we will put the rest of the blueprint points into concrete. Let's see what else is going on here. So, yeah, we brought back a whole mess of ore from the desert. Uh, lots of titanium, lots of platinum, all that kind of stuff, and so this is current. That, all that's currently cooking up here in the forge. So we'll let that keep going, and then this one is doing copper. So we still have quite a bit of copper going there. And then uh, we have our food in here, and the genies are running up there. We probably need to go empty out our water wheel. No, it's actually still rolling down there so um after a certain period of time i don't remember what that period of time is 
it gets clogged up and then we have to go clean it out but the cool thing is that it actually gets clogged up with resources that are useful to us so i like that let's see what else uh you guys i've had several of you tell me in the comments that i can actually get to the main river uh the the river basin valley this place here um uh, through the arctic so we figured out that there's a cave that goes through here into the arctic and and you guys are telling me that i can get there through here which i believe that's well i mean i don't know if that's correct or not because uh, when i have played on the multiplayer server you know this cave here that i was expecting to be open was not open um but what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that a try now we know that this place this little opening here is blocked and that I have to do uh, the Zephyr mission to unlock that. But if either this opening or this opening is not blocked, then it would probably be worth our while to go on a little bit of an Arctic expedition and go through and see if we can get through that direction. Uh, because I would like to open up, you know, have access to the rest of this map in the open world. So after we get the building upgraded to concrete our next goal is going to be to get uh, you know prepare to go through the arctic and then uh, see if we can get through that way and if we can't then you know i'm just going to have to do the missions that i have to do to unlock that stuff which is fine i don't mind doing that uh, if we have to i also would like to try some of the just open world missions so we need to make that little um radio thingamadoodle that uh, we can do first. But our number one priority right now is to get our base upgraded to concrete. What do I have in here? Oh man, I've got a ton of aluminum. My goodness, I've got a lot of, lot of aluminum. Okay, well that's fine. Well, what I'm gonna do then guys, is I think I'm gonna cut the camera here. I'm gonna have some stuff I need to drop off and then I'm gonna go out and just mine up a whole crap ton of stone. And um, once I have a good supply of stone, um, I will bring you guys back and we will get started upgrading our building to concrete. Um, also going to need a decent amount of tree sap too. We have some in here, but this is used of course for our fuel. At some point I'm going to make the the tier 4 uh, biofuel compass, uh, composter too, but uh, not quite ready for that yet. In fact, you know, it looks like I'm going to have to also go get a bunch of wood. Well, we got a decent amount of wood in here, so let's take all of, of the sticks out of here and put them in here and start converting that stuff to um, tree sap. Let's see, let's do max. And then we're going to need some more of the sticks to put into here. Yeah, I guess I must have harvested. There we go, there's our level up. I must have harvested a bunch of wood and the last time I played but like I said it's been a been a little while since I played so I don't remember exactly what happened we st we have a decent amount of wood in here so let's go ahead and uh, craft uh, two more uh, or 200 more of those which is actually going to be 2,000 because we get 10 per uh, all right well since we leveled let's go ahead and, and go to the tech tree and we have oh man we only have three points that kind of sucks okay so we need to unlock concrete beam. And uh, do we need to upgrade the frames? Probably, I'm thinking we probably do. Because if we don't, then most likely the concrete frames that are exposed will take damage. That may not be the case, but I'm going to assume that it's the case. So we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. Uh, then we're gonna need the floor and that uses up our points okay well <laughs> we're gonna have to do some more leveling uh before we can get you know the walls and the roof and all that kind of stuff that we need so i mean worst case scenario we if we get a that big bad storm coming in we'll have to just do some repairing um until we can get everything upgraded but it's not that's not something i want to mess with i you know i want to our base to be completely impervious to storm uh, storm so that way like you know when we're out and about we don't have to worry about it and that sort of thing all right guys i'll bring you back uh after a while after I get some stone uh, in particular uh, mined up. So we'll see you in a bit. And we have a full load of stone here on the buffalo. 
Buddy 3.0, which I one of you guys told me in the comments he should be like Buddy 5.0. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, we've we've filled them up as full as we could possibly get them with stone. So that is a lot of stone there. Um, so I don't think I, I don't, can I take all of this and still move? Yeah, I guess I can move up to this point. Uh, so let's just take this all the way up to the concrete mixer here. There's a very irritating bug that I'm running into with this game to where when I come back with an animal loaded with stuff, as soon as I get within range of the trough, they try and go for the trough and they stop following me. And they can't get to it, so they go in the water, and so then I have to go into the water to try and get them back, and it's it's a really major pain in the butt. Um, all right, so let's take, let's just have two rows of that, because we're also going to have to put some silica and some some tree sap in there too. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do three rows of that right there, and then the rest of this. Do I have room in here for stone? Yeah, we'll put that stone in there. And then let's get the rest of this out of here out of you. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna want to come in here and get your into the trough. There you go. So you can get your food back. And Liberty Mutual got out of the pen, but that's all right. I don't care. Liberty Mutual, you're bad. You're a bad bird. Naughty, naughty bird. All right, for the rest of this stone, um, let's put those in there. I'm going to take those out of there, put those in there. And then we'll do... Uh, let's... Put all of those in there, maybe take a couple of those back out, and we'll put some um, tree sap for the rest of those. So we don't have room to put any of the rest of these in here, do we? Okay. I have some room in here, probably. Yeah, we'll just put the rest of those in there. Okay. Now, let's grab all of the tree sap out of here. And I also want to make some more epoxy. And then we can get started with concrete. Okay, we need one room to make the actual concrete. An active water connection will increase processing speed. Why did we run out of a spot here? Uh, okay, hold on. Clear Q, max. Okay, we'll make those hundred. Man, the storms just keep coming. This is like the third storm since I've left you guys. It's crazy. All right, where are you at? You're still working on titanium, it looks like. Let's do a sort here. So we got lots of platinum, lots of aluminum, lots of gold, and now we're working on titanium, which is a good thing. We have room for these two stone piles in here for now. It looks like we do. Okay. Let's do a sort here. Yeah, we've got a ton of aluminum. Let's grab this platinum and put it over into here. For now, we'll save ourselves a little more room. And we'll put this in here. All right. So, um going to we did level again too by the way uh, when I was mining so let's swap out our air tank here I don't know if this storm's gonna damage our stone or not let's get our hammer ready in case it does um, hammer Oh, I guess I have the hammer already in my inventory. So we'll put that down there. Put the O2 tank in there. I need to eat also. So let's have a pie. And one of these.
of these pies. Grab those these things out of here. Uh, we'll have a fish curry and some bacon. We have tin fertilizer. How come that's not making fertilizer? There's tin plants in there. That should be starting another fertilizer, but it's not. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Put this over here. Okay, so the worst part of the storm's coming up. Still don't see any damage yet. But if I'm reading the forecast correctly, I think the next storm, the one that's orange, is the one that can damage stone. I don't think the yellow one can, if I remember correctly. Well, let's just see what happens when that red portion comes through here. Yeah, it doesn't look like the red portion is going to be a problem. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, it actually does. Look at that. It's starting to cause some damage. Interesting. So these two pieces there, and the little Eve has taken a bit of damage. Huh, okay. All right, well, that's the worst of it. So let's get this repaired. took very little damage, so at least it's not significant. My guess is that if I try and upgrade these without repairing them, then the upgraded piece will still have the damage of the other piece. I don't know if that's true or not. We need to go check the uh, the little shed out by the out here too. This guy, yeah, that took a little damage. These foundations seem to be okay. I don't. Yeah, the stairs are okay too. needs a little attention too. That's good. That needs a little touch up. Our gates are good. All this seems to be okay. I don't know. Maybe the foundations don't take storm damage. They don't seem to. Oh, I need a har Oh, crap. I need to harvest crops. Okay. Here, let's get these crops harvested really quick before they all go bad. I checked them um, earlier, but only the irrigated crops were ready at the time. But that was a while ago. All right, let's take a look at the fuel in here. Yeah, it's about halfway down. Okay. What? Uh, what did I just do? I don't know. Must have hit the command prompt key or something. Uh, we'll let that uh, continue on for now. Liberty, you really need to get back in your pen. So let's get you back in here. There we go. 
All right, let's put all this produce in the fridge. Let's stick this in here. So it actually takes 11 for it to start, even though it says 10 in the recipe. That is weird. I don't get that. Uh, but that does seem to be the case. Okay. Are you done uh, with all your copper? Yeah, look at all that copper. That's beautiful. I'm just going to leave that stuff in there for now. Okay, you're still working on here. All right, let's grab all of these fuels out of here. And um, we're going to top everything back off. So you're about halfway down. You are about halfway down. Since we're doing this, we might as well get the one outside, too. I need to go check that water wheel also. All of those in there so they can start filling back up. Got some carrots in here. Okay. Our water wheel's still going, so that's fine. We don't need to worry about that right now. And I think we're at the point now where we can start doing some upgrading. Uh, this needs to be re repaired. Oh, actually, we got some points to spend. Uh, so we want to keep going on the concrete. So we want the concrete wall, concrete roof. Um, concrete angled, probably. And there we go. That takes care of all of our points. So let's grab this. And what else do we need? We need the wood to repair that. To do these upgrades. We want to start on the roof, of course. Okay, so for concrete. Upgrade. Oh, we have to make the pieces. That's right. My bad. Seriously? Another storm already? My goodness, I can't believe it. Uh, okay, so to make the concrete pieces, I think we make those in here, don't we? Concrete. No, we don't make those in there. Uh, do we make them in here? We make them in here. All right, where do we make the concrete stuff? Do we make them in here? Oh, you know what? Maybe we need an electric masonry bench to make concrete pieces. I bet you that's what the deal is. No, cement mixer. Oh, okay. What do we need for that stuff? We need steel rebar and steel screws. Okay. There's some steel screws and steel rebar. Um, do we make that in here? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, okay, we can make a total of 40 of these. I don't want to burn all of my steel, so let's make 30. And that'll actually be 300. So it looks like they stack in 50s. Okay. Alright, so we need five ridges. 
cancel that. Uh, clear cube. Concrete roof ramp. So let's make five of those. Well, no, we're going to need a total of 15. We can only make eight. Uh, because we're also going to need to do these here, too. I'm going to grab a little bit of wood to repair this hammer. Let's upgrade these, this. Um, R, select upgrade, concrete. Um, why isn't it an upgrade? Do I have to have a higher level hammer? What the hell? Maybe I can't. Okay, so that says must repair first. But when I try and upgrade this one, it's not doing it. I've got those in there. Do I have the wrong piece? Oh, I have the wrong piece. Okay. All right, well, let's do these then. first. I have another ramp, so why isn't it... Um I think I'm trying to do the... There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Man, this crap is expensive. I wonder where... We're short on rebar. Okay, so we need more rebar. So I need two, two more of the roof pieces. And then these guys are a different piece that we have yet to learn. So we're just going to have to... Keep re oh, I don't need to repair those two. Okay. Okay, so we got those roof pieces upgraded to concrete. Now we're going to have to do uh, these wall pieces. But it, again, at least the storm doesn't do severe damage to the stone. It's just light damage. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to work on... I'm just going to keep making concrete and keep upgrading all of these pieces until we get them all upgraded to concrete. And then uh, once that's done, you know, then the next step for us is to start uh, thinking about going through the Arctic to get into the main uh, Great River Basin. I think that's what it's called. So that's the next uh, thing on the agenda.
Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let everybody go here. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.